In this video, I want to share a quick tip on how to check your design super quickly in Adobe Illustrator for uh, any kind of messiness, problems, hidden elements, uh, elements lost in the uh, artwork so that your designs will be streamlined, nicely organized and uh, clean for your uh, design project, for your clients and for sale online. know when we are working on a vector repeat pattern design as I often do or any kinds of vector illustration the problem sometimes is that we are uh, looking at the colorful view of our illustration however when you work in vector you know that there are technical specific things you need how you need to organize your files and sometimes our files might look good but for manufacturing purposes for the file size perspective they might might be too messy, making it too, uh, making Illustrator too slow, that's often a problem. I have a way how to switch uh, your uh, view on Adobe Illustrator so that you can find and spot those problems super quick. So here is a vector pattern that I designed a while back and this is a cropped tile of a pattern and it is in the right now open in Adobe Illustrator 2020. So as I see it here, as we like to work on our patterns here, this is how it looks like. And uh, we can check for any mistakes in this pattern. Uh, right here in this file, I actually introduced some of the mistakes uh, so that I can show you how, every, how the mistake could look like so you know what to look for because this file is already cleaned up and this one I added some of the mistakes and I will point out the most common ones for you so you know what to find. Okay, so to test you go to view, outline or uh, here's the keyboard combination for it. Okay, and all of a sudden you can see that there are some of the messy elements outside of the artboard and uh, you can check here why Let's go back to turn it off. You click on view preview. Okay, all of a sudden you see, oh wait, there's something here. And this is not allowed for sale online. Everything needs to be exactly within the artboard. So what we are going to look here is this. These are some stray shapes. And actually, if I select the white arrow tool here, and marquee around them, you can see that they are they have white fill and no stroke. This means that they are lost on the uh, background of Adobe Illustrator here. Let's delete those. This one here, let's marquee, it actually is and basically there is a shape, but it has no fill and no stroke. These are another phantom element that get lost. And here it is over here. Okay, so let's delete that one as well. Let's zoom out and now let's see if we can spot something inside this pattern. Let's say uh, we go to view outline and in here you can see that these two are already on the sides are deleted and I'm, I'm looking at this particular, this particular branch over here. Let's go view preview. And now you see that it is actually mm, the same color as the darkest purple background. So that's why it was here. It was basically by accident. So let's see again, view outline. And here is another one that we will delete. And another one, I think somewhere here. Okay, let's go, yeah. Okay, let's check. Yes, now. You can see that there may be lost elements within your pattern. There might be elements on the sides of your pattern or on top, on the bottom, stray elements, stray points. And the last one I wanted to show you is, let's zoom in on this little butterfly here. So this butterfly, if we click on it, has a lot, a lot of dots around it, which means that it, it will bring up the size of the uh, vector uh, pattern file in Adobe Illustrator, AI file or EPS file. So, so what, what can we do to make it uh, simpler and without keep messing up this uh, butterfly's uh, shape, we're going to go to object, path, and then simplify. And this will show us how much 
simpler we want to see of course it will start changing a little bit once we uh, move these things around but still a lot of points already were saved let's undo so you can see here are the all the red dots the red points and if we go edit redo simplify here how many dots we saved and you need to play with your elements and see so this is another thing that you can see on the outline especially it's easier to see if you go command a and select everything you will see all the dots if they are a little bit too messy or not if they need to clean up uh, or not okay and now we zoom out and you can go to view preview to switch back to the preview and toggle on and off here under view to see uh, any mistakes and any stray elements as i just showed you i hope you found my tip helpful and now you will be able to spot any problems with your designs much much faster now it's your turn comment below if you found this tip helpful say yes or no or uh, say what your solution is for cleaning up messy files we always want to learn more if you want to know how to use colors for vector repeat patterns in a professional way i have 15 pro tips for you for color uh, use in vector repeat patterns and it is a free ebook that I developed for you to say thank you for, to, for being an awesome uh, member of my audience. And you can uh, download your copy in the description box with a link in the description box below and in the card in the corner of this video. I am so excited to hear uh, what you think and if you found the tips about color helpful. Please like this video if you liked it. It really helps my YouTube channel grow and I really, really appreciate it. Share with your friend if you know somebody who might find this video helpful as well as subscribe to my channel uh, to stay tuned to the pattern vibe. Well, see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Grow, love and create. Bye.